In this video, we go over section 7.3, the Y-axis eccentric nut adjustment of Luke Hatfield's help guide. My name's Jim, and this is the Edge of Tech. <laughs> So if your bed wobbles like this and your y-axis is just crazy, we're going to fix that. What we're going to do is adjust the eccentric nuts on the y-axis so our build plate stops doing this and you can get a very consistent flow. So the first thing we're going to do is actually tip our machine onto its side. Just like that. Now I'm going to change camera angles and I'll be right back. So in my case, I have a Type 2 design, which is a later model design of the Ender 3. So I have four wheels, two here and two underneath here, and they're exactly across from each other. It is not the offset design like the Type 1 Luke outlines in Section 7.3 of the guide. So this is the issue. It's not tight to the bed. You can see it wobbling in there, and these wheels, the eccentric nuts, are very loose. Something to note here, so it's totally normal to get dust and debris in your wheels. Uh, for some reason, mine attracts dust like crazy. So all we want to do, and you can check out section 9.1, is go ahead and wipe your wheels clean, get all that dust and stuff out of there, and you'll be good to go. So what we're going to do to actually fix this issue, if you notice like we showed, my bed is very wobbly on, on that y-axis. We're going to take the wrench that came with the kit and we're going to go ahead and tighten the first eccentric nut so it just until it takes that wobble out of the bed. So keep testing it. It doesn't take a lot and you'll get most of that wobble out of the bed. There we go. Then we're going to go ahead and go to the second eccentric nut and we're going to tighten it just so if I loosen it back up. So if I loosen it, you can see there's a lot of play here. So we want to tighten that second eccentric nut up just enough to where we, if we hold the bed, I can twist it. See, that's a little tight still. If I hold the bed, I can twist it still, but it's not too tight. So at this point, we have both of our eccentric nuts tightened uh, just so if you hold the bed, you can just spin the wheel with some resistance, but they're not too loose. The bed isn't loose and wobbling, and it should move nice and smooth just like that. You don't want to over tighten. Over tightening will ruin the wheels. So just be very careful um, that you can, you know, kind of turn these a little bit while you're holding the bed and it's not completely stiff uh, before you put it back together. Just to double check my other side, I flipped the uh, printer over and I do see a bunch of dust in this one too. So I'm actually going to go ahead and wipe those out and just make sure they're cleaned off. Um, always look when you're, in, when you're wiping your wheels out, um, if you see any wheels that are grooved or show excessive wearing, it's probably because your eccentric nuts are too tight. You're going to want to fix those and adjust them like we just outlined. After this fix is complete, you should no longer have a wobbly bed and your Y-axis should be rolling great. Please like the video below. If you like what you saw, click the subscribe button. And if you want notifications for the next video that comes out, please click that little bell. Until next time, you guys have a great day and happy printing.